Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin is sentenced to 22 and a half years in prison for the murder of George Floyd. The judge handing down the punishment after a jury found Chauvin guilty on second degree unintentional murder, third degree murder and second degree manslaughter. Chauvin now also faces federal charges and a lot of people are reacting to Chauvin's sentencing. Some see it as a turning in the tide of the American court system. News 3's Madeline Parker joins us live in studio. Madeline, how is the Chauvin trial different than any other police brutality cases? Julie, when it comes to police brutality cases, it's rare officers are even charged. Since 2005, less than 2% of officers involved in these kinds of cases are charged with murder. Those that are charged have a 33% conviction rate. This sentencing is significant to many people, particularly in the African American community. I spoke with the president of the Carbondale branch of the NAACP after the sentencing. She says she's happy for the Floyd family after getting what she calls, quote, a semblance of justice. However, she says the sentencing is just one step on the long road ahead. Justice is more than one verdict. Justice is more than one conviction. This sentence does not abate decades and centuries of disenfranchisement, racism, discrimination, and suppression. Associate professor at the SIU School of Law, Jennifer Brobst, calls the Chauvin case sentencing an outlier. However, as an attorney, she's not surprised by the sentence itself. She says as long as the public and government work together, this could be the beginning of change in America. There are a lot of George Floyds out there, and as a former prosecutor, there uh, is certainly excessive uh, policing, and that's always been the case, but the national attention and even international attention to this case has been extraordinary, and I do think that we are in an era of a uh, new civil rights focus on racial justice. Linda Flowers of the Carbondale NAACP says while she hopes this sentencing will help change how police brutality cases are handled, there are still more issues that need to be addressed before the problem is fixed. Now the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act was passed by the House of Representatives, but has not yet been voted in the Senate. Live in studio, Madeline Parker, News 3.